Yes, this matter involves a piece of property on the southwest corner of Duke Street and Henderson Street. Um, as Council is aware, uh, Council recently adopted a policy for the disposition of surplus property that requires uh, an analysis of two factors, uh, primarily at the initial stages. That is one, should it be declared surplus? And number two, um, what is the recommended uh, method of disposal? So in this case, there had been an inquiry on this property, but the property itself had been used uh, and still is being used for the temporary storage of snow, so it had an operational use. So it was felt it would not be appropriate. However, uh, it's been determined that there, you know, the city may be able to uh, acquire another property in the area, which could make this one uh, available uh, for sale. The property in question is, is on the fringes of the downtown. Um, it, it certainly, and we're looking to have a use for it, something uh, more beneficial to the community than simply storage of snow. Uh, in this case, it's both commercial and residential potential. So uh, with that being said, the uh, senior staff that went through the analysis is recommending that you consider the property for a surplus for economic development. Um, and the rationale is set out in the management report. And we are recommending that you consider uh, disposing of this by direct sale. Uh, and if that's unsuccessful, that might marketing. And what that means in short is dealing with the party who has proposed uh, acquisition and development uh, off the top. And if nothing can be reached there to continue to market it as a property which would be good for uh, housing and commercial. Um, as I say, this one's a little different insofar as we're encouraging council to, to try and recover the funds necessary to acquire the replacement parcel, but that's an issue that can be dealt with down the road. So if council's willing to send this up, as I say, we're looking for uh, a motion to declare surplus and instruction on how to dispose. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Manager. I'll open the two questions or comments from members of council on the item. Councillor Ross Robinson. Thank you, Your Worship. <clears throat> um, I don't have any objection to uh, to moving this up. I'm just wary that uh, if we declare it surplus prior to acquiring a piece of land to, to do our business on, then, then we'll find ourselves in a situation that isn't uh, favorable. So the, the possibility of buying that land on the fringe of the downtown, is it... Is that going to happen, or can it happen, or are we just hopeful? We have, we have had preliminary discussions. The more council moves towards disposition, the more serious those discussions would take place. And uh, at this point, I would, uh, you know, I would anticipate any purchase and sale of be agreement being subject to a condition that the city is able to acquire that property uh, as a replacement prior to divesting yourself of the one you're using. Thank you. In furtherance of that, uh, Mr. Manager, I'm just wondering if, uh, although it's usually the motions here are send something up, but can we make a motion or just an indication of asking you to um, advance the conversations of, of uh, acquiring the other property? Because it, it's a bit of chicken and eggs, really. Like, a, we have an offer, and now we're going to declare surplus to proceed in that conversation but like I, I would have an interest I guess maybe to clarify where I'm coming from in both facilitating the sale of this property for its development and also securing the other property and you know I, I wonder if there's a way that we can advance both discussions uh, at the same time yeah I don't think any instructions are required but we, if council moves this up it would be dealt with next week and then the next week we would try and you know, have verbal discussions to firm up a price um, uh, with the seller. Um, in the ideal world, we'd bring back per two purchase and sales at the same time. Um, the problem with this one is we don't have an offer. What we have is uh, somebody who said they're interested in development, okay. and we'd like to pursue that one further to see how much of an offer. But it, it certainly won't be when that's done, we'll start on the, other, on the acquisition. If this goes to council, we'll start firming up a price with the owner of the other property okay. and expressing our interest so it doesn't disappear on us. Good. And, and so just to conclude, then I would enthusiastically support this motion. You know, we're, 
was one of our um, objectives with, through the downtown plan and our strategic plan to see growth and development in our both of our downtowns and in particularly in the housing sphere. But we know in this downtown, there's been challenges of several closures recently, and, and it would be nice to see um, some new things happening down there. And, and uh, you know, we'll, I know this will trigger a negotiation if this goes through. And, um, you know, looking forward to those discussions of seeing something hopefully more tangible coming to the table. Uh, Councillor Summers. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. Just a question for Director Shanahan. Um, just knowing that the parcel that we're potentially looking at uh, declaring surplus was acquired specifically for storing snow, is the so-called, like, the other property that we're considering close enough in proximity, like, the, the cost there, the whole idea was storing the snow was to eliminate, you know, how much it costs us to transport snow. I'm assuming whatever this other parcel is, is close enough nearby, it's not going to impact your operations, so to speak. Yeah, through the, the chair and counselor, uh, Summers. Yeah, no, there it is a little bit, uh, there's a little bit of extra effort, but uh, not a lot. Uh, it'll definitely serve the purpose in the long run. Uh, you know, this is you know a, a developable piece of property, and it should move forward towards that. We knew someday this story was going to happen. So. Thanks, Director Shanahan. If, if there are no further comments uh, or questions, I'd ask for a motion to move it up. If uh, Deputy Mayor Quinn, seconded by Councillor Harris, on the question.